everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Emma if you don't know me and I make crochet tutorials here on YouTube. Today we're going to be doing this cardigan that I'm wearing and from the outset guys I just want to mention one of the sleeves is brown. I do want to address that because you guys might be confused. So basically what happened was that I was just going about it and I miscalculated the amount of yarn I would need. So I have like what I mentioned in the video is the like right version of it. Yeah, I miscalculated and then it was like and then it was like it was gonna take ages for the new wool to come and I was like right, do you know what? I just wanna get the video out because this is mostly about the pattern and not really the colour. So I was like, do you know what? I don't think anyone's gonna mind. There is new wool on the way just for myself so I can fix it so I can actually wear this somewhere. Um but yeah that is why one of the sleeves is brown. It turns out the same though, like it's you know, the pattern still stands. And so I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you if you want to so you can be notified when I post. And if you do end up recreating this, please send me a picture on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. Um, I would absolutely love to see what you guys create. I am so excited to see. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one. See you in the voiceover. Hey guys, so I just briefly want to mention about the sizing before we get started. So I'm making a UK, like an oversized UK 8 to 10. Um, those are my measurements there. So if these don't suit you, please feel free to use your own. Also feel free to use a different size hook or yarn or whatever you want to use. Like it's okay. Like I use quite, I use a chunky yarn here and like a small hook and blah, blah, blah. Like I used a lot of yarn. So if you want to use less yarn, please feel free to use like a double crochet, for example, and a six millimeter hook. But you know, it's completely up to you. And then there's the instructions for the measurements there if you need to do your own. Um, so this is what I used. So I used a 4.5 millimeter hook for most of it. And then for the trim, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, you're also gonna need a tape measure, tapestry needle to even the ends, three buttons, a needle and thread and stitch markers. And I lost even my clips. So now I'm using slides as my stitch markers, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so you're also gonna need signet, well, you're not going to need, you know, if you want to do it like me, you can use this yarn. Um, But kind of like any chunky yarn will do, I'm using Signet and I use it about seven balls. So 700 grams of this yarn. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a um, slip knot. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your two fingers into an X shape. You're going to want to grab the very top uh, piece of yarn and push it underneath the bottom one and pull it up in a U shape like this. Now, if this is too fast, please feel free to check out my basics video where I go through it in um, greater detail. I'll put it up in the corner there if you want to have a look at it. So that is your slip knot. And so we're just gonna insert our hook and we are going to start off with the ribbing. So in total, we are going to chain 12 or to the height of uh, two and a half inches. So to chain all that we're going to do is we are going to face our hook downwards and we're going to loop it up to the right and bring it right through the hole like so so to do that again we're going to face it downwards loop it up to the right and bring it straight through the hole like so we're going to do it again face it downwards loop it up to the right bring it through the hole like that and that is how you chain so we are just going to keep doing this until we get to 12 chains or until we get to the height of two and a half inches. So here's me doing my final two chains. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the third chain from our hook, okay? Like so, third chain. So we are going to yarn over and pull up a loop like that. So we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that is our very first half double crochet. So we're going to go into the next one, yarn over, insert your hook. You're going to pull up a loop like so. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Now, if I'm going too fast for you, please feel free to check out my um, basics video. I'll link it up on top and then you can get the hang of this if I am going a bit too fast for you here. So yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And so we're just going to half double crochet all the way into the very end of the row. 
Um, just completely normal half double crochet. Here's me doing my very last one there. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, so one and two, and we are going to turn our work around. Okay, so, so this is what it's going to look like. And what we're going to do is we are going to have a look at the top row and have a look. So you see the V's that are created there? We are going to be sticking our hook right into the middle of that V and picking up the back loop onto our hook. Okay, so we're going to yarn over first stick our hook through the middle, get that back loop onto our hook. We're going to pull up a loop like so, wrap the yarn around your hook and pull up a loop. So there are three loops on your hook there, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's your first back loop half double crochet. So same thing again, straight through the middle. We're going to pull up a loop like so, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is your second back loop half double crochet. So yarn over again, straight into the back, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So that is the back loop half double crochet. And we are going to continue doing this until the very end of the row. So here's me finishing off, just chaining two to start the next row. And we're going to turn our work, yarn over and insert into the very first stitch there into the back loop. And so that's basically it. That's how you do your back loop half double crochet. Um, really simple, gorge effect, really, really pretty. Um, and so we're just going to do this. We're going to keep doing back loop half double crochet rows until we get to nine and a half inches um, in length. So that is going to actually be for your front panel if you're doing similar sizing to me. Um, so yeah, nine and a half inches. So that's what it's going to start to look like. Really gorgeous. Um, and so I'm going to kind of give you a rundown on what... There you go. So that's what it looks like when it's done. So I'm going to show you briefly what you're going to need. So... We're going to need one that is 20 inches long and that's going to be for your back panel. You're going to need two 9.5 inches ones for your front and two 8 inches ones for your wrists. Um, but again, make you know you can adjust them if those are not your sizes. Um, so we're going to start on the front panel now. So straight going in straight from the ribbing, like we're still attached and we're going to go straight in with a half double crochet along the top row here. So just completely normal half double crochets you are just placing them into any kind of space you can find there but make sure you only do 34 of them here okay if you're doing a similar size to me um because the thing is with them like if you do too many um you know half double crochets in your initial row regardless of what you do if you do too many it's going to look like it's increasing um, which is super annoying and I've done it so many times. So I have found 34 um, half double crochets was right for me. Now this may not be right for you depending on your hook size and your yarn or whatever. But I would just say try your very best to make sure that your stitches are evenly placed so that when you go on to do the following rows your sides will be straight and there's no like mad increasing by accident or anything. So 34 again is what I did. Um, there it is. There's my 34 stitches, half double crochets. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are simply going to chain two. Just here we're going to chain two. Oh, have another look. Very good. Um, chain two and turn your work around. And we're just going to keep going, half to, normal half double crochet. So yarn over into that very first stitch, yarn over into that very first stitch there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And we are going to go all the way down, keep doing rows of really normal half double crochets until you get to six inches in height. So um keep doing your thing rows and rows of completely normal half double crochets until we get to six inches now here I am at the very end of my final row 
um, of my six inches, which was about 17 rows. And so we're going to go straight in with a decrease here. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert into the next one and pull up a loop. And so you've got five loops on your hook right now. Okay. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops and that is a decrease. So we're going to chain two and we are going to turn our work around and we are going to yarn over and see this is kind of different to what I normally do um, but I want the slant to be um, slower so I'm going into the very first um, half double crochet of the row rather than skipping one um, like I'd normally do so completely normal go into every single stitch along no skipping any stitches just completely normal and here is me coming to the end of that row there. And we are just gonna do completely normal half double crochets um, into the final two stitches there to finish off that row. So completely normal. And we're just gonna chain two. And we are going to turn our work around and go right back down the other side. And once we get to the end of this row, that's when we're going to do our second decrease. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and go all the way down with your completely normal half double crochets. Okay, here I am at the very end and I am doing my decrease here. So I've got my five loops on my hook and I'm pulled them, pull them all through and there's my second decrease. So that's kind of what it's going to start to look like. And so again, we're turning our work yarn over, going into the very first stitch there with our um, half double crochet. No skipping any stitches, just completely normal half double crochet rows. Um, and you may find, like I'm going to show you here, it does look like there's bumps because there is bumps, um, but they are not going to be noticeable once we put the trim on. Um, so yeah, that's what it's going to start to look like. But again, it's not really noticeable once you have the trim on. Um, it is all good. So you can see the way it's starting to kind of slant diagonally there. So you can see here we've got our six inches of normal. We have seven inches of um, decreases. And now what we're going to do is we are going to do two inches or four rows of completely normal half double crochets. Um, and, so, and the reason I'm doing this is because my width at this point was about five inches and that is the width I needed for my shoulders. So once you kind of reach the width that you need for your shoulders, I would suggest you stop decreasing at that point and you just do completely normal and straight half double crochet rows until you get to um, the length you want for your uh, cardigan. So, that, so mine was two inches um, in height, but it may differ for you depending. So again, six inches of normal half double crochets, seven inches of decreases, and then two inches at the top of completely normal um, half double crochet rows. And so you're gonna wanna make two of these uh, front panels, two matching versions. So we are gonna start on the back panel now, and this is super easy. So basically insert your hook, so and attach your yarn even, so sorry. So get your hook in there, wrap your yarn around and pull it through like that. And then you're just gonna double knot it. So two single knots, just completely normal um, knots there to secure it on. And so we're gonna insert our hook and we're gonna pull up a loop. And I'm just grabbing onto the tail end because we're gonna crochet over that. So pull up a loop and chain one, or chain two even, sorry, chain two and yarn over. And really similar to what we did in the front panels, we are going to insert our hook into the spaces available at the top of the ribbing. And for this, for the back panel, I did 63 half double crochets here. Um, but again, the same thing goes um, for this as it did for the front panel, just make sure that you you know, evenly distribute your half double crochets so that everything is nice and even and straight. So my, uh, I did 63 here. So we're gonna chain two, 
and we're going to turn our work. And this is the easy part, guys. We just do rows and rows and rows of half double crochets. Um, completely normal half double crochets because this is just the back panel. So, you know, it's just a big straight, big, big box of half double crochet, box, big square of half double crochets. Um, so yeah, you're just going to keep doing that and you're going to want to do this for about 14 inches. So we are just going to keep going all the way up. That's what it's going to look like once we have 14 inches. And so basically, once you've got 14 inches done, what you're going to want to do is measure five inches in from the edge, like so. So measure five inches in from the edge on either side and place a stitch marker into that um, place where it is five inches in from the edge. And here's my stitch marker. Guys, my stitch markers are getting so ridiculous. Um, I literally don't have anything. Look at the size of this clip. It's so funny. Okay, anyway. So five inches in from the edge on that side and the other side I've already done. So what you're gonna do, you're still attached to um your work. So all that you're gonna do is half double crochet all the way down until you reach the stitch marker. And then I will show you what we are going to do there. And I think I speed this up and it looks hilarious. Okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> and I'm scared to like unspeed it up because I'm afraid it's going to like mess with the editing or like some of it will disappear. I don't know, I'm kind of scared, so I'm just going to leave it in. Um. So yeah, we've reached the stitch marker and now we're going to chain two and we are going to turn our work around. And now we are going to half double crochet all along this row and we're only doing two rows of this as well so we're only doing this is our final kind of row for the shoulder bit um yeah and this kind of shoulder flap part is going to match up with the front panel five inch shoulder as well so that's it when it's done and now we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side so we have two matching five inch shoulders. So that's what it's gonna look like once the two shoulder bits are finished. And so that's what it's gonna look like when the two front bits are on the back panel. Um, sorry, that was just like a little quick, quick moment. Um, so here is, so we're gonna work on the sleeves basically now. So. Um, once you're done your ribbing, mine was eight inches. Um, so just measure around your wrist for that bit. Um, this can be as tight to your wrist as you want. So I'm just going to chain two to start off that row. And what we're going to do is we are going to place half double crochets into every single possible space we can. So different to the last two times, we are literally putting half double crochets everywhere. Like we're putting them we're putting them in every single space along this row that we can because what we're looking to do here is to increase this as much as possible because we need to get the width of this to be 16 inches wide and obviously we only have eight right now so we have to do um as much as we can to um make this to be as wide as possible so into every single space available we are going to do a half double crochet but no increases here, just just um, putting them into every space available. So that's what it's going to look like once your first row is done. Then we're going to chain two. And we are going to turn our work around. And now what we're going to do is we are going to increase into, ver into the very first space, basically. So just there, okay? So we are going to, so that hole, yarn over, insert your hook and do a normal half double crochet. And then we're going to do another half double crochet into that same space like so and that's your first increase so after this we are going to really normal half double crochet all the way along the row until we get to the very end and in that very last um space of the row we are going to increase um again so at the front and at the end of every single row we are going to increase and we are just going to do this until we get to the width we want. Um, so I'm gonna show you here. So that's our last one. We have done an increase in there and we're gonna chain two. And so now we are gonna yarn over again and increase 
straight away into that very first um, half double crochet of the round. And I just continued doing this until I got to about, I think I increased for maybe four and a half inches, I'm pretty sure. Um, so chaining two here, turning around and doing the very same thing again. So yeah, so it's about four and a half inches of increases that I did. Um, and I just measured to make sure that it was 16 inches wide and it was. So um, now after you've kind of reached your desired width, um, you are going to just completely normal half double crochet until you get to the height you want. So there's nothing kind of crazy about this part. You're just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're just going to completely normal half double crochet. Um, yeah, for rows and rows until we get to, um, until we get to the height we want for our sleeve. So you can see there, it's kind of starting to not uh, increase anymore. It's just going straight up. And we are going to continue our um, straight rows of half double crochet for um, or until the whole sleeve equals to 17 inches long. So that's what it's going to look like once you've reached 17 inches in total. Um, and then when you fold it over, it looks very sleeve like. So that is um, what I did for that. Um, and I always say the, the bigger, the better for sleeves. Like you can never have a big enough sleeve. Do you know what I mean? And there's nothing worse than a sleeve that is too small. So I say, you know, go mad on the sleeves, you know, make them as big as possible. So what we're going to do now is attach the front and back panels together. So we are just going to sandwich the um, shoulder parts together. So the five inches, they should match. Um, they should match very well. So we are going to just attach our yarn to the, like, so the front and back panels are, you know, tied together with our double knot, basically. Um, you cannot, you know, you can do this any way you want, but I just like to do a double knot when I'm attaching just so it's because it's more like, it's more like sturdy, I think. I don't really know. So we're going to pull that right through and we are just going to double knot it, very similar to what we did before. And all these random strands of yarn are very annoying. I'm so sorry that they're still around. I should have weaved them in, but as you know, I hate doing that. So they were weaved in eventually though. Um, <laughs> Oh, they're so annoying. I'm so sorry I didn't do that. Oh well. So we're just going to slip stitch. So insert your hook to slip stitch and pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook and you're just going to pull through that second loop there in a slip stitch. So insert your hook. You're going to pull up a loop like so. Two loops on your hook there and pull through that second loop to create a slip stitch. So in again. You're going to pull up that loop. Oh, Emma, come on. You've got it, girl. Okay, let's go. We got it. Okay, next one. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop and then pull through that second loop again. I think I've sped this up a little bit. If it's too fast for you, please feel free to slow it down. Um, but you're just going to slip stitch all the way down this row of the shoulders so the front and back panel shoulder parts are attached. Screaming that I left this whole bit in. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, enjoy the slip stitching moment. Okay, here's me finished. Oh, she's gonna go again. Go queen, okay. Insert, slip stitch, and then chain one. And there's me just tying it off. And that, those are the shoulder parts all attached. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then once you turn it inside out, um, it's gonna look like that. So super neat, really gorge. 
So you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side for the other, um, for the other shoulder. Like so. The 5 inches and 5 inches will be matching. So that's what it's going to look like. So now we have to do the sleeves. So I want you to lay your sleeve right beside um, your main body of work. And just put stitch markers where the sleeve basically ends on the front and back panels. Um, like that and then once that's done you just kind of like lay your work out like this and uh, with your stitch marker still in the main body of work and then you kind of just put your sleeve like between the stitch markers if that makes sense um, and make sure the inside of the cardigan is facing you so like the right side is facing down and so what we're going to do is just slip stitch all along that row like this we're going to kind of like pull it up and pucker it and like slip stitch all along that row right there so here's me slip stitching along that row there and it's so funny because someone commented and was like oh my god there's like a better way to attach sleeves and I go oh my god you're so right um and this has like changed the game for me like this is so much easier than what I was doing before so that's what it's gonna look like once it's all attached and then when you turn it inside out it is going to look like this and so that kind of bottom part is still open and we are just going to really easily attach those bits together with a simple slip stitch um, up and across. Super easy, no fiddly bits or anything, super handy. So that's what it's going to look like once you've attached them, but obviously I'm going to show you how to do it on the other side. So, and here's the introduction of the brown sleeve as well. Here she is so funny i really wish i had gotten the right amount of pink yarn but you know it is what it is so here i am the outside is facing towards us so that so it's inside out basically and we are just going to sandwich our um front and back panels together and we are just going to slip stitch all the way up and across to attach the sides and the sleeves so i am using this dark pink um yarn to attach this part so do a double knot at the end and pull up a loop and chain one and so we are going to insert our hook and slip stitch all the way along like so so completely normal exactly what we were doing before oh okie dokie okay she got it she got it it's okay so literally just go all the way up and then once you reach the sleeve part, it's super easy. I'll show you here now in a second. Um, but you literally just kind of pivot your work and like you don't have to like detach or anything. It's like super handy. So all the way up like this. Okay, here. So once you get to the sleeve, you just kind of follow the line. Like there's nothing extra you have to do. You just kind of you just kind of follow the the um the line i guess you know you just kind of go along um and just move on to the sleeve super easily so it's going to kind of curve like that but it's gorge and then you just go all the way down to the very end of the sleeve so every single part is attached together and then essentially like all of your attaching work then is kind of done um so super easy honestly like super so just front and back panels are attached and the sleeves as well and then obviously we're going to move on to the trim but the trim is super handy um super easy okay so just tying off that part there pulling it tight and we are going to now turn it inside out and I'm just going to show you, yeah, so this is what we have so far. Super gorgeous. So the only thing left to do now is the trim. 
So I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook now for the trim. Um, just because I was like, right, let's change it up a little bit. Feel free to continue using whatever hook you were using before though. Um, and I'm just attaching it um, just by chaining one. This time I'm not double knotting it. Um, but yeah, so yarn over and you are just going to half double crochet into every single available space. Um, but again, try to do this kind of evenly, evenly distribute your half double crochets um, here. But again, it's like I didn't run into any issues with like increasing problems. So I guess it's fine for this one. Um, yeah, just don't like put in loads and loads, just evenly distribute them. So here's me coming around to the other side of the trim. Um, so I went all the way up one side around the neck and down the other side. So I've just, after I'm finished that, I chain two. And now I'm gonna go up for a second round. So what I did here, so I needed to mark where I wanted the buttons. So basically I just like chose a random spot on the top and a random spot on the bottom. And then I measured the bit in between the top and bottom buttons and I divided it in two. And that's where I got the middle button placement from. Um, so there wasn't much maths to it, but um, it turned out fine. So <laughs> I'd recommend you do the same. So basically I am just half double crocheting all the way. And so once I get to the stitch where my um, stitch marker is, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip that stitch and I'm going to go into the very next stitch after the stitch marker. And then I'm just like getting rid of the stitch marker there. So if you see what I mean, so you kind of have that hole created there and that's going to be your button hole. So yarn over and you're going to go all the way up to the second button or where that is going to be placed. Um, and we're going to do the exact same thing again. So we are going to chain one and insert our hook into the next space after the um, stitch marker. And what we're going to do basically, so we're going to do that for the third button hole as well. And then we are going to go all the way around with normal half double crochets until we reach the end of that row. And then we're going to do one final last row after that. So we're going to do a total of three half double crochet rows. Um, and I'm just going to show you here. So on your third row, you are going to have to half double crochet into the top of the buttonhole. So see that V there. So you're going to have that V on top. So there can be a V on top like so you can see it there and then underneath there's going to be like a line and you're going to go in there so like between the two between the v and that line that's where you're going to have to crochet into you and then your buttonhole will be underneath that basically if that makes sense so yeah that's what you're going to do for all three so i'm going to show you there so you see there so the buttonhole is still present um and we haven't like gotten rid of it which would be not what we want to do we do not want to get rid of our buttonhole so once you have those three rounds completed our trim is finished and now we get to put on our buttons so place them where you put the buttons but buttonholes like correspond them to where the buttonholes are and just sew them on to the other side um and so just grab a needle and thread and sew those on as best you can here is me doing so um and yeah that is literally it guys that is how you do it so weaving your ends obviously but other than that that's kind of it so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions obviously leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and to like the video if you enjoyed it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye